Okay, let's call Liz Ken. Okay. <clears throat> Should we call Enrique's mom? So that, so no, they're, they're not there. They're in QC right now. You know everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Isa also has uh, the uh, Hope Wellness here. Hope Wellness right here. How's that doing? Uh, now, because of course, because of uh, the rules of this pandemic, she can't because it's a wellness center, close contact. During this MECQ, but ECQ that will be back up. So it will be back up. And she's making changes, uh, a lot of changes there to, you know, personally help talaga with wellness, not just those massages. I hear it's ringing, the phone's ringing. And that's it from her. You think she's gonna answer? She might be wiping the sweat off Enrique. <laughs> Enrique's calling. How you doing, bro? Good, brother. Dude, Take so out. I'm Take good, man. Uh, U- Uniqlo, is that Uniqlo? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sa kanya, iba. Iba sa kanya, he's sponsored eh. Yeah, bro. Is Liza answering? No, she's not answering her phone. Uh, hang up. No, she is. She's just also getting ready. All right. Last minute. Uh, let, let me know. I can co- uh, connect her. <laughs> she in the just thing. got in the house like five minutes ago. We've been talking about you lately and about our secrets together. <laughs> <laughs> Our, our, our secret romance. Our secret romance. <laughs> hey, Ken, a piece of advice. Do not go to his podcast. Kanina pa siya sa akin. <laughs> Bro. What, 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 what? Do not guest here. Do not guest here. <laughs> Bro, we were talking about that we had a lot of romantic moments together. Nurika. Right? Dude, it's true, bro. Yeah. Like brother, as in, hey, Eliza. Hi. Hi. And we just talk about the great friendship what? Enrique and I have. Do you want to adapt up para mas okay, brother? Wait, how are we going about this? Just on, on video call? Yeah, dude, or? We're, we're, we're in the podcast right now. The woman in the world. The first is my wife. What? Yeah. <laughs> hey, very oh, well. Shoot. Very well, brother. Thanks, nice, guys. Yeah. So, <laughs> how are you guys doing, bro? Good, brother. We're very good. Sorry, sorry. So I would, I'm, Very good. I'm, I'm here with uh, Ranville. No, so we're basically talking about how you guys conceptualized and started this alcohol business, which is HKT, right? Yeah. So Ranville, yeah. Ranville was saying you guys were super hands-on in, in creating the business, um, in, in marketing it, and in, in creating its creators, mm-hmm. etc. No. So what's your what's your yeah. vision and goal and for, for this brand, bro? You know, uh, well, to give quality, top quality products to every household, you know, to cater to all the Filipinos and to help them, you know, equip them with everyday essentials, basically. At an affordable price. Part, yes, <laughs> and basically they get more out of what they really buy. So we, we want to make it really top quality products, not just alcohol, but we want to give them the best experience when using their al- alcohol or any any product that we come up So Yeah, because yeah, before the alcohol, you and Ranville did the pabango, correct? Yeah. And since Liza really loves uh, K-pop, on one of the ads, she made you look like a K-pop girl. <laughs> How do you know that that Liza was part of that? Dude, Enrique looked so girly. So I was like, this is Liza's doing right here. But, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm a beautiful man. <laughs> you are extra beautiful, bro. But, but, but Matt, let, let me tell you something yeah. about these two. Go ahead. Of all of my businesses, mm. Itong HKT Essentials the Alcohol is the only business that I'm not hands-on. They're Silen Dalawa who's the one who's running it. Yeah, because Liza is super hands-on, especially mm. in business. I, you know, Liza's like an entrepreneur already. In yeah. Asnum, a businesswoman. They are, and yeah. And a world changer in Asnum, and A save the children <laughs> woman. <in> uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so you and the three of us, right? We had Dolce Amore together. We had uh, Bagani together. Dude. Oh my God. Right? Did you have a good time yeah. back in back in back in Dolce Amore? And you weren't married yet. Yeah, dude. When are you guys getting married? This is the best thing in. <laughs> oh, huh? <laughs> Expecting the blame. Um, yeah, dude. <laughs> dude, but you know, like being married, bro. I'm telling you, right now is beautiful boyfriend and girlfriend, but being married is like a. Different level of happiness, different level of comfort, different level of From everything. Oh, wow. I'm sure, brother. Yeah. But um, you know, it's uh, everything. It's all out. It was the best moment. My my mom cried and my my papa was. Te- anyways, it was the beautiful, beautiful. I can't wait for you guys to experience this, bro. But aside from wow. that, bro, 
moving forward, bro, what's your plans? What, what other things are you guys um, planning to do in the future with HKT, with Ranville? And, you know, Ranville is the best business partner because he really makes things happen. You guys are looking at each other like you guys have so many plans together. So why don't you share it? But we can't, we can't share it. That's a problem. <laughs> Just give a sneak peek to everybody out here. Sneak peek. Well, we have a lot of products lined up uh, lined up for HKT Essentials, but we're also planning other businesses yeah. as well. But that I mean, we cannot share. Yeah, yeah, we haven't even mentioned to Randall yet, but maybe after this call, or when we have our next uh, HKT meeting, yeah. we might, yeah. Ano ba to? Hopi, Matt was yeah. asking a while ago uh, regarding Hope Wellness, and I told him I can't discuss much, but I said, <laughs> Uh-huh. There's a change that you're you're doing that would be more yeah. of wellness, and uh, I said uh, will surprise him. Yeah. Uh, and maybe you can talk uh, a bit about it. Mm-hmm. So um, over the course of the pandemic, I realized that um, well, we all know that a lot of businesses were struggling, and one major um, industry is the beauty, uh, like the salons, um, the spas, right. and everything, because that's like direct contact with people. So it was really hard for us to find a way. To encourage and make people comfortable with going to the spa, or, or it's basically not really, operate during those. Nights, yes, right. you know. it's not really at the time we don't we don't see it as a necessity. But one thing I also realized is during this pandemic, a lot of people have gotten stressed, have gotten you know um, anxiety and depression because of being locked up for so long, and, you know, unknown and uncertainty. But not only that, they also got into wellness. Yeah, a and lot of people got into wait, I'm I'm going into yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to yeah. build my way up. <laughs> so, so like with all that stress, people realized that they needed to focus more on themselves, on you know strengthening their immune system, working out, finding what makes them happy, and just right. um, taking full well being. And that's why. Um, with the help of Kuya Ranville and other people that I cannot mention yet, um, we came up with this idea of making Hope Wellness even more of a wellness sanctuary. Because right now, yes, it is a wellness sanctuary, but it's like the bare minimum of what wellness does. It's more of like the physical aspect, but we want to dive deeper into like your soul and everything. But um, we also want it to be more medical in a way. What what does Enrique like and how do you support Enrique in playing games on his computer? <laughs> hey, she plays with me, bro. Hey, Ken and I have a separate uh, project. We have a business that we're we're uh, grooming right now. Really? That's it, a secret. Yeah. So, Liza, how do you do? Like, it's it's really obvious now that Enrique really pushes you, motivates you, put you, puts you up all the time. Uh, I just want to ask. I'm sure you do too, but I just want to ask and you know let our viewers know to make you know, make them feel a little bit more inspired and how Liza um, encourages Enrique to push himself to the max. Kumbaga. Well, first, first of all, when he has like new businesses, I really appreciate that he like tells me about it and he asks me, is, is this a good idea? What do you think I should do? And then I give my thoughts and my ideas. And I like that he's very welcome to suggestions. So like with this new business that um, he and Randall are working on, like I was, I was giving him like feedback on this certain product and mm. like what I think he should do with it. Yeah, I'm going to use Serpa Mankin to you to test <laughs> the product. <laughs> Oh, your tito pala. Really? Yeah. And it really works. Galing, galing. So, when is this coming out? When can we see this? When we're, can we feel we're, this? We're planning to launch this uh, third quarter of this year. All right. All right. But, That's uh, exciting. But Ken is the one... Talk to, te- clearer testing, to the mic. Ken is the one testing the products. Really? We plan to bring it out third quarter of this year. Hope he helps him a lot yeah. in, uh, you know, with their ideas as well. Nice. Dude, guys, during the pandemic, you guys have been locked in your house. I, I think you guys were the ones... You, you were shooting a soap before the pandemic started, correct? Yeah. And I think it was you guys. You talked to production. The guys, we have to stop this. Am I correct? Kind of. <laughs> in a way, I mean... It was, it, it was like a mutual decision because um, they, wanted, they wanted us to start taping right away. And at right. that time, we were ready to start taping just because we were so scared. It was at the height of the pandemic last year. Um, until like ABS-CBN and the production came to a decision to just um, not continue on with it because a lot of our cast would have had to been removed also because we have minors in our cast and we also have um, senior citizens, right. people that are a lot older. That's cool, Liza. You, know, you guys are speaking out, you know what I'm saying? You guys are being responsible mm-hmm. artists, not yeah. just on the set, but for everybody, kumbaga. So, like, yeah. during this pandemic, during this whole uh, pandemic, 
Um, you guys have been together a lot. You guys have been spending time a lot with your families, with each other. What are the things, what are the silver linings? What are the things you've learned about each other and about life and about family? I would say it's important to take things slow and to mm. be present. I, to be, um, yeah, present in the present, like in the now. Because before when I was working, I was always thinking about the future. I just wanna, I, I just wanted to work and work and work to make money so that I could prepare for the future. But I, I realized during this pandemic that I was never, you know, there. I was never present because I was always at work. I was always thinking of the next project that I needed to do to work on and how much money I would need to do that project. So, um, being able to like just have time to sit down with my family and, you know, actually have a meal with them now because they before before the pandemic we would always have a meal together but usually at a restaurant to, ce right. to celebrate like occasion or something i never really had meals at home mm -hmm. so i think that was one thing that um was going back to the family. basics we you know started cooking mm -hmm. cleaning the the house the room you know stuff that normally we wouldn't have time for mm -hmm. and right. to be able to do it it's just really cool but whoa well, Right? So you, you and you and Liza, you you spent more time together, Kumbaga? Yeah. Yeah. Even, yeah. Are you guys neighbors? Yeah. No. no. He lives. He lives <laughs> near you, all the way here in the north. So yeah. how do you, during the pandemic? How do you guys you guys have separate houses beside each other or like? <laughs> no, no, we take turns sleeping over at each other's houses. Uh, so like, uh, but I stay with his sister <laughs> and just to make it clear. No, no, I never said anything. Yeah. I, I know you I, stay. You sleep with. Enrique's mom, Enrique sleeps with <laughs> Johnny. No, no, no. In, in, in Hope, in Hopi's house, there's I have a room there. That's what Enrique uses when he's there. Ah, okay, okay, okay. And then when 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 they're in uh, Enrique's place, see Hopi sleeps with Andy, the sister of Ken. Ah, okay, okay. Responsible. Responsible. They are, yeah. Responsible. Yeah, hey, brother. Uh, I learned from the best. People. Yeah, but we learned from Ranville, right? <laughs> <laughs> So I have a question. With your relationship, how long have you guys known to get, known each other? Years, no, no. Eight years. Yeah, eight, eight years. years. So let's say eight years. Um, let's say back in Dolce Amore, when was that? Four years ago? Three years ago? Twenty. I think it was twenty sixteen. Mm -hmm. Okay, so twenty sixteen to now, right? I remember you guys would have those mini fights on stage. <laughs> <laughs> remember those those uh, those fights in the lounge remember when remember when you just suddenly stood up and like whacked Enrique in the face <laughs> sorry about that no but I mean you remember when okay. in the airport uh, yeah, yeah. when you didn't want to show your cell phone I mean this is this is kid stuff remember these are things that we we, 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 we went through and today we can talk about right right yeah I remember because Mateo was talking about something and he, it was making me suspicious about something that I shouldn't have been suspicious about because you always like to joke me like that. Yeah. So I thought there was something suspicious about, but there really wasn't. Yeah, there really <laughs> wasn't. Anyways, I just have to say, you guys are, Enrique is a really good actor also and early, you know. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> no, joking, joking. Huh? You love me that much, huh? Yeah, dude, I love you, bro. I'm just joking. You know, my, my Cebuano brother, bro. Bro, I, I gotta say something else. What, Enrique, what do you feel about Liza's um, these days being vocal, um, talking about uh, saving the children, talking about women's rights, talking about this and that? How, being boyfriend, Liza, how do you feel about that? Well, sometimes, of course, it's a little bit scary, but, you know, I mean, uh, I mean, my woman's brave, bro. <laughs> a girl anymore. See a woman, you know, when you get that level. Right. Uh, yeah. So that means she's ready talk. for marriage. She's ready for the next step, bro. It's just up to you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you, just, you support her, bro. Of course, every everything and everything. Of course, I give her advice, you know, to slow down and you know, maybe choose, my fight. choose your fights yeah. and you know, internet is not the place to be. Uh, messing around sometimes because you know sometimes it gets a little bit stupid yeah yeah, you know? yeah. not just a little bit but, but, but you know that's the only way to get to all those people also so yeah I mean everybody we just want to change the world make a change make it a better place but I don't know yeah but, hopefully but to there's always you, hope bro to answer you, Matt, there's always hope there's always hope yeah, Ma yeah. Matsi Hopi and Ken Hopi, Ken and I believe in the anyway uh 
as long as you know that what you're doing is the right thing, right. there's nothing to be scared about. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. And Liza, for you, naman, what is your end goal? Like, what is your goal? What is your vision? And doing all what you're doing, what's your goal? Honestly, I have I have a lot of big dreams that don't really seem like you know I don't really see them happening, but. For some reason, I still like want to work on them little by little, like just by speaking up um, for women's rights or children's rights or mm. about certain things that I don't agree with. Yeah, um, I, I have dreams of like making the Philippines a, a better place. Of course, um, I mean I'm I'm just an actress and I'm just I'm just um, an influencer, but I, I'm hoping that by using my voice and my influence, I can influence people to. You know, be better people as well. Make a change. Start talking. Don't let people just you know step all over you and mm. yeah. and not you know think of the bigger picture. Yeah, I really like yeah. this because of people like you. You give courage to other people. You give courage to other women to really speak up responsibly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Responsibly. That's mm -hmm. very important. No. By mm -hmm. the way, Liza, we we wanted to uh, speaking of this uh, women empowerment and everything. I told Randall, but I think he was scared to ask you because it was my inet back in the day. Uh, we want to invite you to mm -hmm. to come to to the Philippine Army and and meet the women there for a women women empowerment um, activities and uh -huh. stuff. That that sounds cool. I you know when I was younger, I wanted to be part of the arm, the military too, because <laughs> my grandpa was in the navy. Right. So that was that like I re I really wanted until I realized that I don't like war. <laughs> Right, it's not about yeah, but it's not about war, right? The army does a lot of things aside from war. That's why I, I, I invite yeah. you. We'll go one time and you'll see, you see what happens. I have, mm -hmm. I have a lot of female um, classmates when I was in the army last year that talagang, talagang destroyed me. Talagang, I was like, wow, how do you do this? Talagang the level of dedication, mm -hmm. their strength, and everything is just in a different level. Liza, what are your future goals for you, Mona Liza? I'll ask Enrique next. What are your future goals in showbiz? What do you want to do? Um, you know, what do you want to do in the future? In showbiz, yeah, you know, I I don't know. I honestly don't know. I just, of course, I I still want to continue working in showbiz, but like I don't have specific goals that I want to reach. I just want to do awesome projects that will bring out the passion and the fire in me to act. Right. Um, of course, I want to try diff doing different genres because since um 2015 or no no since. 2013, sorry. Since 2013, I've been doing rom com and drama. Mm. I want to try explore. I, I want to try to explore doing other genres. Right. And hopefully, I mean, work with like new people. Right. I mean, Ranville can be your next leading man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. No, but, I, I remember the day the day your hand got whacked by that sword. Remember, I was there too. I remember, I remember that day that your head got whacked by the sword and you were preparing also for Darna then. And um, yeah. I just want to bring it back. And, and to, to, like when when they said, Liza, you, you were not going to... I don't know who said what, who said what, right? If they said or you said, mm -hmm. that, Liza, you're not doing Darna anymore. What did you feel? Is it meant to be? That it was passed on to somebody else? Maybe it's something mm -hmm. else. It's maybe your, another door is opening for you. Um, it was actually me who came to the decision. I thought because... so too. No, I really thought so too. I thought so too. I really said, I think this is Liza saying, this is Liza speaking up and, you know, saying what she wants to do. Yeah. Um, honestly, ABS was very supportive. Like when, when my finger, um, when they, when my finger broke, they, um, immediately looked for a doctor to take care of it. <clears throat> really they now? brought me to a, huh? <laughs> I said, I said, <laughs> what, what? Enrique, what? <laughs> Sa pagbabalik ng Dr. Love. <laughs> <laughs> sabi, sabi ko, ABS is really supportive. Sabi ko, really now? <laughs> Alright, anyways, moving forward. And then? Um, they took me to America, America to get it fixed and yeah. everything. But then after realizing that I would never be able to bend it again. And also, honestly, I didn't really see me being a superhero anymore. Right. Just because um, something in me felt like I wasn't capable of doing stunts because I broke my finger. Like right. something something kind of made me feel insecure about doing doing stunts and doing action because of that incident. And um, I was just, I was really struggling because even when my finger was broken, I was still training for Darna. Yeah, and, the, and I kind of... The healing time for that because brother is matagal talaga. So, so the, the, the end question uh, here, the end question, the conclusion, closing everything. Uh, can Liza bend her finger? No. Until now? 
Yeah, it's just like that. Oh, Enrique. <laughs> <laughs> Enrique, she can't bend her finger. I know. My brother, he's strong, bro. What about you, Enrique? Have... What's your What's your plan? So, what's your goals? And what's What are your dreams for show business and in your future? Bro, brother, I'm just simple. Lang. Um, I just want to continue inspiring people. You know, as I, if I still do, then I'll still continue inspiring people, trying out to make more movies for them. You know, make them happy. Right. And as long as my bit, um, with the same thing with my business, I want to just help people. Right. The bottom line, if you're doing good, then you know that's still something good. So, yeah, you and. If you order, if you put this in order, bro, what's more, what's most important? Family, show business, um, business outside show business, or your boyfriend mm. or girlfriend? But the family will always be my girlfriend. Everything. This is my family. So, so family. Family first. Liza next. Family first. Liza's family. <laughs> Liza's Liza family. family. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then of course, uh, show business, uh, show business, and business. Okay. But eventually, where I get, it'll be business. And then Ranville. And then Ranville. Oh, I went, I'm, 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 I'm part of family. All right, all right. Yo, Liza and Rika, yeah, yeah. thanks very much, guys. Uh, I hope one day we can come. You can come down. Stop, to stop. Huh? Grab you and post more and very formal. Stop doing this. You like, you like my microphone? <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, guys. When when everything's normal, you guys, you guys go out. I hope I can invite you in the journey. Let's have a meal together and let's do this again. Perfect. Yeah. Hey, I love the um, the artichoke pizza. Very yeah. good. Uh. Hey, hope you can. Queer Qu- Anvil here. I'm, I'm listening in. I'm very proud of both your answers. Uh. Good job. Thank you. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> Kahit na last minute lang tayo invite ni Matt na, tiyan na, podcast na. We, we didn't know what was going to happen. Pero ito, we're here. Yeah. You know, I invented HK Theodore right? Did you tell you that? <laughs> yes, he told us about that. All right, so I, I'm getting my dividend soon. <laughs> All right, guys. Guys, thank you. Uh, bro, thank you very much, man. Enrique, Liza. Uh, thanks, guys. Take care. Hi to your parents, bro. Hey, love you guys. Talk to you.